I recently got the iPhone 16 Pro Max and I unboxed it and set it all up with the voiceover and let's just see how voiceover deals with the new camera control. Hi everyone, welcome to Carry On Accessibility where we explore accessibility and technology. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to explore the iPhone 16's new camera control button. It's on the right edge of the phone and it is a few inches below the lock or side button. I'm going to go ahead and press that button on the side here. Camera, photographic styles. This modal comes up because it's the first time I'm actually using the camera app. Set up later. Try it. Set oh, up let's later. set that set up, up later. later. And now. Here it opened camera, so a single press opens up camera. One times, auto so macro detected. If you lightly press it in, it gives you haptic feedback. One times, and now you can scroll 1. up. 2.7 to zoom in. 8. Five times, 6.5, 9.1, 13.7 times, 18.6. 25 oh, wow, times. look at that. That Auto is macro quite a lot of zoom. This is um, some Rubik's Cubes. This is my GAN cube. A green screen with a blue border. A blue sky okay. above the pole. A gray object on a blue 25. Let's zoom out. It looks like it's doing some automatic descriptions. And to zoom out, I was just swiping down on the camera control. 0 0.5, 0 0.8 times. Let's see what it says. A group of colorful blocks on a white surface. A group of colorful blocks on a white surface. Of now if I do a single press. Times. A Lego zero point eight times. A Lego structure it takes on a, a picture. Surface. That is not a Lego. Lego. Structure on a white surface. It's interesting that it didn't announce that it took the picture. If you double half press the camera control button, you can cycle through the different modes and settings that you can change. Cameras. Uh, styles. Zoom. Exposure. A group of colorful blocks on a white surface. It looks Down. like every time a there's a slight a pause, cameras. it a tries to give another a description. A Lego structure and on a white then the swiping, swiping up and down to go surface. and cycle Tone. through these options structure. is cameras. a little bit a hard. Uh, it feels a, a little bit unresponsive. Not that I want it to scroll to more when I'm swiping, but the actual physical swiping motion, it feels feels like it's not always picking it up so easily. But with later and more experimentation, it looks like if you move your focus away from the viewfinder area, uh, it stops doing this. Once you've chosen one of the modes that you want to adjust, you can just do another half press, then swipe up and down. In this case, I'm doing exposure. Zero F. Take picture I'm gonna button. be on the take picture button so that it stops trying to describe everything for me. Each time you do a half press, it gives you plenty of feedback. It really kind of feels like you're pressing a button, kind of like a camera where you can half press to focus. After a few seconds, the controls will disappear and you can do another half press and it will bring the controls back up. I was in exposure and so it stayed in exposure it looks like and I can swipe up and down to control it. Now I'm going to double press it. I meant half press. And now I can cycle through these. Zoom. Cameras. Styles. Zoom. Okay, let's cycle through zoom and I'm going to do another half press. And now I should 1. be. 1.7, 2. Point, yes. 4.1 times. It looks like I'm able to control the zoom by swiping up and down. Let's take a piece of paper here. We'll move these cubes to the side and try a magnifier. Nail. No magnifier. 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 A black cell phone with a green light on a okay. gray surface. Black text We're on a We're going to try surface. this. Equal. Okay, stop, stop. Frame okay. Button. We're going to try the camera control. Catch your freeze frame. Okay, light presses don't do anything. Now, if I... Settings. Button. If I uh, go ahead and press it. Reader. Dimmed. Button. It Reader looks, mode available. It looks like it uh, takes a picture. Let's see if I press it again. It unfreezes the image. At first, when I tried the camera control and the half pressing on the magnifier app, it 
was not working, but I don't know if it's a recent update or for some reason it's working right now. And uh, you can just do a half press, then swipe up and swipe down, and magnifier will increase or decrease the amount of magnification. Let's take a look at the camera control settings. Settings. Go to settings. Set up, set, get, at, there are, air, what, blue, cellular, batter, general, accessibility. We'll go into button. accessibility. Alert, uh, notifications, don't allow, allow, button. Set, per, personal, access, personalized, vision, voiceover, zoom, display and motion, spoken content, audio, discrete, physical and mo, touch, face ID, switch control, voice control, eye tracking, side button, camera control, button. Control nearby device it. camera control. After button. a bit of scrolling down, we can go into camera control. Camera control. Click camera control to open a camera app. Then click again to use camera control as a shutter. L light press. Show adjustments. Sw allow camera control. Show adjustments. Switch button. On. Allow camera control to make adjustments. Okay, so if you are a voiceover user and it's kind of difficult to use, or for any reason really, you find it difficult to use the light controls or the zoom control or the, like the light press, you can, it looks like you can turn that off. Lighter. You can adjust how light you have to push in the camera control, not for the button, but for the adjustments. Selected. Default. Firmer. Light press force test image. Okay, so there is a image here. So you can push the camera control and it lights up um, to tell you if you are pressing it hard enough for the half kind of half press menu. Um, but sadly, voiceover doesn't seem to really give you any feedback on this. Light press camera control to try the setting. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. Nope. Voiceover double doesn't say press anything. Speed. Heading. Okay, you can adjust the Lock, double light press speed. Double Heading. light press speed. Selected. Default. Slow. I'm gonna actually selected. Probably slow. switch that to slow. Slower. Slower. Okay, and those are all the options. Clock, let's try 20, one last thing. Okay, Tab, let's go to be my AI. Camera. And let's try camera control. Let's do a light press first. Okay. It doesn't do anything. Now I'm going to position these cubes and now I'm going to go ahead and take a picture. Full press the camera control. Oh. Analyzing picture. Please it, wait. It looks like the camera control works for Be My AI. So that's pretty neat. One. The first cube on the left is a mirror cube with a metallic gold finish. It has a unique design where the pieces are not uniform in size, creating an interesting visual effect. I think that this is pretty cool to have instead of maybe using the volume buttons because a lot of the time I'm trying to adjust voiceover volume and I keep pressing the volumes and it keeps taking a new picture for me my AI yeah but um, I also tried this with seeing AI I was trying it with uh, the document mode that didn't work I also ended up trying it with Ira and again the access AI um, pressing the camera control button did not take a picture which is kind of sad I wish that it could be linked to the camera control so that is the iPhone camera control and what it can do if you like this video give it a thumbs up below if you want more content like this make sure you subscribe and if you want to support the channel and what I do while also getting bonus content and having a monthly meetup, consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member. Thanks everybody for watching and listening, and I will catch you in the next one.